welcome back. Okay, today is first day of welding. I'm kind of excited and scared all at the same time. I've got um, all of my pieces pre-cut and a leaf. Uh, everything's pre-cut. Um, I'm gonna put those up on the uh, pieces where they go and then test to make sure that they are the um, right size. Uh, grind them down, watch a cool video uh, this week. I like the way that guy did his stuff, so I'm gonna do it. I credit him, but I don't remember. It's not one of the ones I follow. Anyway, so I've got those pieces all cut out and I'm ready to start putting them in. Everything's got weld through primer on it. Oh, the big hole and the big strap right here. Um, saving for last. But this one will get fixed today, hopefully. The arch, which is the most complex, will be last. And these little holes here. And the gusset and the fender hole there. That's my goal for today. I'm going to set this thing up. Uh, there'll probably be a lot of video. I'll have to cut back through it because there's going to be a lot of starting and stopping. Um, but I'll speed it up or something. I'll make it worth your time to watch if that's even possible. So uh, more as I get started, uh, I need to get myself situated here and get started. Thanks. Okay. Two hours later. Okay, that was super fun. I uh, forgot to paint the back sides of the um, welded pieces with weld through primer. Smart. Super smart. Super smart. See how smart I am? Didn't even know I had the damn thing on. Uh, yeah, so everything's got coated now. So 15 minutes went by ish, a little longer. I did play around a little bit more. So I think we're ready to get started here. Let me get my helmet on and we'll get going. Oh, did get the uh, weld cooler. So that's what I saw in another video. Um, if I remember what that guy's name is, I'll link him in there. He's a body shop guy and he was tacking and air cooling, tack cool, tack cool, tack cool with his air. Seemed to work for him. We'll try it with us, see what happens. Helmet. Santa Claus is senior welds. You're getting a grinder for Christmas. Oh, damn it. Oh. 
Okay. I am not impressed with my welding ability, but that's going to be as good as I can do, I think. Um, that's, uh, I think I got all the holes anyway, huh? I can see how it blows right through it though. Man, that's, it's hard to do this. I practiced for a day or two with um, some chunks I cut off and thought I had it dialed in pretty good, but it's still popping quite a bit. Okay, so, um, all right, I'm gonna grind this weld down and see how bad it is after I get done. That'll be now. Sparks will be flying. Oh yeah. If I can just get my light in the right place. All right. Get our tools swapped. Your floors have as many spiders as mine have on them. I mean like the little teeny tiny ones. It's crazy how many spiders are on this floor. It really is crazy. Got a grinding mask here somewhere. All right, let's try not to catch me on fire this time. Holy shit, that blows right through there. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Why am I doing wrong? Okay, decrease wire speed, decrease gas. De decrease gas and wire speed. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, do you have a little vacuum cleaner? A little vacuum cleaner? Yeah, for a car. No, I have a shop vac. Why? Uh, I was gonna vacuum out my car, and I was thinking, for some reason, I thought we had a little vacuum cleaner. Mm -mm. Nope. We do not. We used to. Not that I'm all remembering, no. If you're thinking about a dust buster, those are shit. They don't do what you think they do. Okay, got the uh, first batch of that done. Next thing that's going on is I can't see the holes, which I have failed to seal. So I just sprayed it with paint because there's just too many shiny reflective pieces coming back at me from the grind marks. So now I know where the holes are and I can come back and try to fill those without blowing even bigger holes in there. <sighs> Wonder if doing that from the other side might be better. I don't know. Oh, well, can't tell. But you can see them. Yeah, pretty bad. So yeah, this is more complicated and difficult than it looks. I'm gonna say that with all due respect to the welders out there that do this every day. You guys are amazing and talented, I'm sure. Oh, come on, camera mount. 
All right, let's do some more welding. Fill those holes. Well, I gotta wait 15 minutes for that to dry. I'm gonna let that dry. I could do it right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry. And then try to fill those patches in. All right, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, it's cooled off and it's um, dried. So now we'll go ahead and attempt to fill these holes. And I've set the gusset, so I'm ready to tack it into place as soon as I get this nightmare done. I've got the light behind the fender shining through, giving me pinholes to look through, to look at. And my wire's too long. Okay, this is going to be even more complicated. I'm going to have to weld upside down at some point because I got to come up. I got to weld this bottom and I got to weld this up to the top. I got a little bend here that I need to probably, after I get this tack where it won't move, um, I'll get it sorted out. I've got to get that. I get that in place. That's too far over there. That's just not going to work. So let's try to position it again. This piece right here is going to have to be bent back into shape too. Bending. Ah, or breaking. Whichever one comes first. I fully expect it to blow right through this piece right here. It is very thin already. I really do expect it to just blow right through it. 
good news is I can get can spray paint behind it, so we'll get some kind of paint on it at some point. All right, let's see what we can do here. Somewhere close to that. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Stop. Undo that. Quarter of a turn. Tighter. Pinchier. And we'll do it like this. There we go. We use that as our welding. As our ground point two for the tacks. And we'll get the welding stick. Here we go. Oh, it's a lot of welding with nothing touching. That's great. Doing great. That's super. That's terrible, by the way. That's just not good. Not good-ish. That's terrible. That whole weld is not attached. Wonder why it's going so swimmingly well. It's not attached to, not attached to the substrate. So we're gonna start over on that one. Now, probably ought to cut it off. Cut that weld out first. And then... Uh, try again. Okay, how we doing? All right, so camera overheated, so I'd take it in the house. All right, so it got cooled off. I just got this fitted. I don't wanna take it off to show you the gusset, but there it is. All right, so I finished the gusset, got it welded on all the corners and sides, and gave it a good coat of primer. Again, I can get to the bottom of this I know a way to kind of get some paint. I'll figure out a way to paint paint that from the bottom and back, but at least it has some primer on it. And now getting this piece, the original piece I cut was the wrong size. So I went and cut another second piece and now I'm getting it lined back up and I'll just chop that corner off down. I'll chop this edge off when I get to it. So you can see how these are uneven panels. There's a big bump here. That's not sticking down there. So we're just gonna give it some love taps with the little hammer. Get it tapped, get it tightened up. So I'm gonna tack it on this side. And then come over here and give it a little love on that side too. Ah, come off of there. Now, see, you get it where you want it and then it doesn't want to come back out even when it's not there. So, all right, so I want to keep that above the surface. Let's get that one lined up. All right, I want to get that tacked into place. Then I'll work my way back over here to the this side, and um, then we'll work it to work the piece of metal into the this one by giving it some love, prying and hammering. We'll see how that goes. All right. Uh oh, well, it's not on. I gotta get my butt up on the ground again. Oh, it's so much easier if I had a lift.
Boom, got it. Ow, that's hot. Woo, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Boom, look at that. Yes, stay put. Got a dent right here. Got to get that lifted up. Hit it with the hammer. Nice-ish. I'm not going right up there. Over just that, it'll be all right. All right, hammer, hammer. skills that's going to be as close as I think I can get it done. Let's tack it. probably wouldn't need as much grinding if they're pretty to start with. But they're not pretty to start with. So, you need grinding. That's just how it is. That's what it is.
dialed in. I don't know what the outlet is. gigantic patch like that and then how we're going to reinforce it for the seat belt bolt that goes right there and then we also have to figure out how to get this one sorted out big long strap and lots of tack welding i assume yeah that's where we are uh that's all for today it didn't occur to me that you probably couldn't hear me with the, the uh compressor running so that's it for today um we're gonna call that done. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with some primer and we'll call it good. So we got this piece done today. Both of those, two small holes in that patch. And we got the gusset and the panel done today. We'll get this hole done tomorrow and we'll figure out if we're gonna start on this big hole. And then we'll figure out if we're gonna start on this strap. Let's see if we can get a big strap in there and get that done. Uh, thanks for watching. You can support me on my Patreon. That's what I was asking at the end of that other clip that is really loud and stupid. Uh, anyway, support me on the Patreon. It helps me keep the website secure, keeps uh, everything on, and keeps me doing it. I don't make very much, I don't make anything off this. I just do it for fun and to teach other people uh, sometimes how not to do it. Maybe that's an example of my welding.